Because of speedrunning, I end up down patching games fairly often, usually because skips get patched and I want to stay on the more fun version. There's rarely any reason to downpatch a game otherwise, except if an update ruins a game for you and you want to go back, but most people have no idea how to do it. So I'm going to show how for anyone curious, because the day may come when you need to. This is specifically for Steam games on Windows computers. If you press Windows key plus R, a run menu will show up. This is basically a shortcut you can use to access any files on your computer, and you'll see that I already have it set up to open the Steam console. I only use this feature for Steam, so I never have to touch it, but you will need to paste this path into your window. I'll put it in the description. What it does is open a console within Steam that most people don't know exists, but it's here that you can essentially just download any version of any game you own. The tough part is finding the right codes because games aren't represented by their names, but by a string of numbers. I never have to go looking for these numbers simply because I join speedrun discords and they almost always have these codes to versions they use in resources, so it's a simple matter of pasting the command and your down patched version will be downloaded. If you don't have access to the code anywhere, you need to take a trip to SteamDB, a website that I too find scary and overwhelming. But thanks to Zazzy Pogchamp, we can together understand how to use the many numbers on screen. It's important to note that your command has to be download underscore depot app ID, depot ID, manifest ID. So for example, security breach, the app ID is right here. You need to open your Steam console, put it in there. I was just messing around with it. I have the ID code in there. Then go back and you gotta go to depots. Uh, pick the one that you have, cause like there's DLC here, this is this one. So your depot ID is right here. It's often gonna be quite similar to the app ID. And now you need the manifest, which is kind of the, uh, the version more. So you can go to manifests and it has the whole change log history. <laughs> We're like three updates in the first couple days, but if you want a release patch, I assume you would just uh, grab this one, I guess. Boom, enter, and it starts downloading. Once you've downloaded your down patched version of your game, it will say depot download complete. It can be found in your Steam folder that by default is in your system storage. Program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, and then this is the folder where game files are, but your downloaded depot will be found in content, and this is it. There's two things that you can do with this. One, you can just put the game folder somewhere else and run the game by just entering it and hitting the exe. This is what I do. The downside is that you will have two versions of the same game taking up extra space. Alternatively, you can replace the files within Steam with your new depot version and just be able to run it through Steam. But the downside to this is that Steam might automatically update the game, so you might have to play in offline mode and you, of course, won't have access to both game versions. Personally, I just run the thing off my desktop until I don't need it anymore and then I delete it. That's a uh, base knowledge tutorial of this stuff. Anything more complicated, I simply don't know.